Good morning to my esteemed audience. Today I am here to talk about a fascinating topic. The to a topic I am sure is going to spark your curiosity. The topic for today is genetic engineering. Let's go back a few decades. Imagine it's the year 1980. Someone came to you. They told you technology is going to soon take over the world. Billions of people would be connected via a web. Crazy, right? But what happened? Science fiction became a reality and we don't even think about it. We are at a similar stage right now in genetic engineering. And what we perceive to be normal is going to be changed forever. We have been naturally engineering life for thousands of years. Through selective breeding, we have strengthened the traits that were beneficial for us. We became very good at it, but we never truly understood it. In the 1960s, we bombarded plants with radiations in hope of random mutations. Some of them were useful, some of them not. Yeah. Now we have super muscled pigs, featherless chickens and transparent frogs. On the fun side, we made fishes glow in the dark. But until this point, genetic engineering was very expensive and it took a lot of time. Until now, at this moment, there is a new technological innovation known as CRISPR. How CRISPR works is, you give it a genetic code. And according to your instructions, it can either add it to the organism or cut it out of it. Literally, it can cut genetic code out of the organisms. Imagine if it is the genetic code of a deadly disease. If the old ways of genetic engineering were like maps, CRISPR is like a GPS system. Let's, let's be optimistic for a second and imagine what this means for diseases. In 2016, scientists conducted a study on rats whose body were entirely affected by the HIV virus. They inserted CRISPR into their tails and it was able to cure more than 50% of the virus out of the rat's body. Amazing, isn't it? Now, thinking on a wild aside, let's talk about design babies. Suppose you know that a deadly genetic disease runs in your family, so you, you are about to have a baby. Why not get rid of it? Why, why would you like your baby to suffer from the disease? But if you can cure a disease simply by vaccination, why not give them increased intelligence? Why not give them perfect eyesight? Why not give them enhanced metabolism? This is all very far-fetched for now, but it is, at, it is improving at a surprising rate. For now, we can see this. Once the first genetic engineer kit is born, a new door would be opened that, would not be, that we would not be able to close. Thank you.